After the Thor Love and Thunder trailer dropped, it didn't take long before the woke mob turned its eyes once again to Chris Pratt. He is their favorite target because they want him out of a job. They never want him to work again. And if he does work, they want him to be absolutely as miserable as possible because Chris Pratt is straight, white, male, and American, and he's not ashamed of any of those things, and that drives them absolutely insane. So you have this audience that Marvel has been asking for, that Marvel has been cultivating, that is actively trying to shame and cancel Chris Pratt in his role as Star-Lord. It's disgusting. Why Marvel fans are mocking the Chris Pratt scene in Thor, Love and Thunder. And when it says mocking, what they're really doing is they're calling Chris Pratt a bigot. They're labeling him homophobic all over a bunch of lies from the artist formerly known as something else, but is now known as Elliot. Who knows why this person had such a big agenda? I wonder, could anyone guess? Yeah, no, not at all. For months, fans have been clamoring for a Thor Love and Thunder trailer. Uh, even rival superhero franchises have been demanding it. Now that it's first teasers here, fans are doing what they always do, rewatching it over and over and over again. Ever since Elliot Page called out Chris Pratt for attending what Page called an infamously anti-LGBTQ church. Uh, interesting. I don't think that it was Elliot Page that said that. I think it was, I think this person identified as something else during that time, but maybe, maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but many fans have labeled Pratt a homophobe and the new Thor Love and Thunder teaser finds the actor in a surprisingly flirtatious scene with Chris Hemsworth. And here it is. They call this flirtatious uh, be because that's what these people do. That's what these activists, these lunatics, these stands, these nut jobs, anonymous people who only exist to try to promote a, a brand, to try to promote Marvel, to try to promote a character and some sort of relationship between them. These people are freaks, but this is what set them off. Into the eyes of the people that you love. <clears throat> Not me. What? Just listening. That's it. That's what it was. Look in the eyes of the people you love. He's staring at him as Chris Pratt's trying to talk to his team. Not me. That's all that it took. All it took, and then we, all of a sudden, Chris Pratt is trending, and people want him fired. People are laughing because they're calling him a homophobe. They're labeling him a homophobe and saying, oh, I just love the idea of Taika Waititi, who, does, who makes everything queer, making Chris Pratt do this. Chris Pratt fell to the ground and started hyperventilating and vomiting after filming this scene. Most people that watched it probably just thought, oh, a little bit of stupid Marvel humor, that was it. But for the stance... For the freaks whose only identity exists because there is certain sexuality and they require that everyone acknowledge that, right? They require that everyone that they see in any form of media also be gay or trans or bi or pansexual or queer or whatever the fuck they've made their life obsession. This is what they were happy about when this scene came out. Oh, why'd they have to ruin the new Thor trailer with Chris Pratt? But at least we got this. Okay, female Thor, I can't wait. Chris Pratt, after Taika Waititi, told him he had to do subtly gay scenes with Chris Hemsworth. Marvel making Chris Pratt part of their next queerbait, sh queerbait ship is actually the funniest thing they've ever done. The way we could be getting by Thor and Peter. And it all feels delicious because this means Chris Pratt's homophobic ass probably hated himself on set. By Thor and by Peter. This is what you've asked for, Marvel. This is the audience you've cultivated. You said you wanted to be progressive and woke and you wanted to leave the old fans behind. Well, in a large part, that has happened. Now you've surrounded yourself with fans who probably can't even afford to drive themselves to a theater, let alone buy tickets for one, but they are completely obsessed over gender identity identity and sexuality and changing these characters. Chris Pratt reading the script for Thor Love and Thunder, realizing it's going to get fruity. And there was way more. Master of the TDS, I saw him put this together. This is just a portion. Some people either celebrating the fact that they think Chris Pratt's going to be forced to do something homosexual or just straight up want him fired. Fuck this movie. I'm not giving one cent to Chris Pratt. I just know seeing Chris Pratt's face is going to ruin Thor Love and Thunder. Taika Waititi makes Thor and Quill have gay tension. Chris Pratt trying to explode Taika Waititi with his mind. Taika Waititi did this just to make Chris Pratt cry himself to sleep. Why does renowned homophobe Chris Pratt get to work with Taika Waititi? Chris Pratt probably so close to call Taika the F slur during shooting for making Peter kind of gay. Like, that's all it is. Over and over and over again. This is the audience that they've asked for. They want Chris Pratt dead. 
because of something an insane person labeled him, even though he's displayed over and over and over again. He's not a bigot. He's not hateful. He's not a homophobe in any way, shape, or form. That's not enough for them. Kevin Feige in Disney in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this is the audience that they've wanted. These are the people they've wanted. These are the types of people that they've wanted in the audience. People that are so absolutely disgusting that they want Chris Pratt to never work again all over a bullshit rumor. Disgusting behavior, but I guess I can't really expect anything less from these people or from the MCU. Did you see what all these people saw when you watched that scene? What do you think about them trying to cancel Chris Pratt once again? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.